What's happening, everyone? What's going on? Welcome to a July 2020 update video. Today, I'm just going to be updating you guys on what I've been up to over the last month or so. And I'm also going to share with you what my favorite product of 2020 has been so far. And that is a product that all of you can pick up just about anywhere locally for about $21. So let's get into the first order of business, um, my fleet update. Well, as you guys know, I purchase one to two or sometimes three cars every year, uh, primarily just to make videos for this channel and kind of experiment on cars, do a little DIY, and hopefully make a little bit of profit. Most of the time, I uh, break even or lose a little bit of money, but I hope that the videos that I make from each car sort of pay dividends over time so maybe in 10 years we'll look back at a video and we can see how much money I've made on one single video from that car and that will sort of have made it worth it even if I break even in the short run on purchasing one of these cars so here's an example of one of the cars that I just purchased uh, about six months ago from my friend Ian he had that for sale and um, Basically, I drove that car for the last six months. I really enjoyed it, surprisingly, being a Volkswagen Audi product. And that wagon allowed me to do some pretty cool stuff this past spring and early summer. I disassembled a few old picnic tables that were rotting. Uh, pro tip, don't waste your money on pine picnic tables um, if you're going to let them sit outside and I was able to fit two entire tables in the back of the wagon. I'll show you a picture of that right here and uh, take it to the recycling center. Now, while I didn't get to use it for snow or for some off-road challenges, I wanted to really pair that car against my wife's X5 and see how it was in the snow, but the snow never came this year in Connecticut. So basically I just used this as a package hauler and a baby hauler. As you know, I'm a new dad and this was the perfect dad wagon. What I will miss most about that car is that I think it would be the perfect cross country road trip car. And we had considered driving it to uh, Chicago where my parents live. And that car is a four cylinder turbo. It got maybe 29 or 30 miles per gallon on the highway. It was very comfortable. It could fit uh, my wife and baby in there along with all of our accoutrement in the back. And basically, it, it would have been the perfect road trip car. The downside of that car is it's a Volkswagen product at heart, uh, made by Audi. And I think basically it would have been, it would have been pretty difficult to own that car long term. Not only because this is a BMW channel, but I think the reliability is not as good as BMW, believe it or not. But basically, I decided to sell it and move on. I have too many cars here. I have an E28, we have our X5, I have this 335i, and it's just one German car too many. I was spending hundreds if not thousands of dollars uh, over the past six months uh, fixing every little thing. Speaking of fixing little things, right before I sold the Audi, I replaced the valve cover. I had previously replaced the gasket, but it still leaked, so I had to replace the entire valve cover itself the gasket, a fuel level sender, which still didn't fix the gas problem on that car, needed, I believe it needs the uh, sending unit on the uh, passenger side as well, which is under the back seat. It's basically the whole fuel pump assembly, which is about $150 or $160 and less than an hour of work. It's not a big deal. But it just gets to the point where you're replacing all of these things uh, week after week and um, as a new dad, it's kind of more difficult than I had thought to balance uh, family time with work time and uh, spending all this time and money fixing cars. So uh, I listed it on Facebook Marketplace. I received something like 25 messages. Uh, lots of people were lowballing and making offers off the bat. And finally, a, a nice family came down from the Hartford area in Connecticut. They drove their Audi down. I guess they have several different Audis, and I thought this was great. It'll go on to an Audi enthusiast where it should, where it should go. Uh, this was a, kind of a special car. There's only 1,100 of these made in 2008. And so I was asking $4,700. 
the dad was a really hard negotiator. He basically offered 3,800, which is almost a thousand dollars below my asking price. And he said, you know, basically take it or or go screw. <laughs> and uh, I tried, you know, pushing back a little bit. I said, well, let's do like 41 or maybe 4,000. And uh, he's like, no, forget it. He's like, you know, 38. That's what I have. Take it or leave it. And so. I guess his hard negotiating tactics paid off because I decided to take it. And the main reason I decided to take it was because I wanted to just free up some space, free up some mental space, and also the 25 Facebook messages, uh, which were driving me crazy. If you can ever, if you know if you've ever listed the car for sale on Facebook Marketplace, the types of uh, messages that you get uh, from all kinds of people all over the country. Some people were like, "Oh, hold the car for me. I'm gonna." I'm going to fly in uh, and then drive it back, and I, will I be able to drive it back? And mind you, we're in the middle of a pandemic, so I don't necessarily want to meet up with anybody from another state or maybe a state that has you know, higher cases or something like that. Um, so I decided, hey, I'll take that 3800 wipe my hands of it, and be done. Now before I sold the car, I did some detailing. I polished it with my dual action polisher, some Meguiar's uh, cutting compound, and then I, I polished it. Then after that, I tried a new product, which is my favorite product that I've come across this past year. Okay, so this brings me to my favorite product of 2020, and that is the Mother's CMX Ceramic Coating Spray. This retails for about $21. As always, I will link that in the description below where you can purchase it or you can find it at fine retail locations, probably such as Advance Auto Parts or Walmart or any of those other places. Now, before I sold my Audi wagon or Avant, the first thing I did was I polished it with a microfiber pad and some Meguiar's compound. I then polished it with a foam pad and to top that off, I used the Mother's CMX for the first time um, just to see what all the fuss was about with ceramic coatings. Now, as many of you know, if you've used Carnuba or the regular wax products in the past, as soon as you wash the car for the first time, basically it just sort of takes off the wax altogether. And I'm kind of sick of waxing the car all the time, and I wanted something that will last. So I tested this out. Uh, before I sold the car, I washed it again, and then I tested the paint surface to see if the water would still beat up. So here are some photos of what the surface looked like uh, several days after applying and buffing off the product, and then washing the car again. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please drop a comment below. Let me know if you've used this Mother's CMX product in the past, or if you're using something else on your car this summer. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.